Hi guys, this is my fifth attempt to record something for you guys. Hyperland just pushed out a new fix. So Hyperland is the one that provides you this Easter egg, which means there was a problem with HyperCTL dispatch DPMS off. And um, they have incorporated basically what is an uh, upstream bug inside the scripts, inside Hyperland, and everything is now working. What are we talking about, right? We're talking about the fact that if we do an update, so Control T, and you update your system, there are always two things. There is an application and there is a configuration. So the application is changed. I've changed it, they've changed it. If you install sudo pacman minus s a few weeks ago, we've made it uh, possible that you can install, that you can switch between apps, right? So Hyperland, Hyperland is since two days, three days on Arch Linux. Hyperland Dev is our take on the package build, but basically it's the image of the Hyperland Git, main, meaning it's the last code, so the fix is in. And this is for Hyperland NVIDIA and a Hyperland NVIDIA Git. These guys we built for you. So Hyperland Arch Linux built it for you, Hyperland Dev. We create our own package and we build it for you. This is from the AWAR, did not change anything. Just build it, just build it, just build it from the AWAR. That's one thing. So the new app, new app is in, okay, update your system. Second thing is the configuration. So if you update things, you'll see that sudo pacman minus s and then Arclinux hyperlit, right? You'll see the update come in. Now, hyperlink git. What you see there is a new code, and where will this new code be? In etc scale. So alt n new wallpaper. So if you go to for your file system, the etc scale, learn about what this scale thing is, and that we have this configuration, well, this alias called scale, which is no longer an alias, so the other script. Doesn't matter, right? It copy pastes things over. So you can just say I'll grab hyper. Control C, Control V, and make sure it's in your .config because hit this one, this place, this folder, the home username .config hyper. That's the one that's going to be read. What changed? Three lines of code. We've eliminated the warnings in here. 56, 58. There are three bits here. One piece, second piece, third piece. We added the line here, watch out, don't use the lines beneath and so on. They're gone. And you can test it out if it's working or not. This is without lock, so the monitors will go dark. It's not sleeping, it's not hibernating. It's just the, that the monitors will become uh, black and are spared a little bit. And if you wiggle with your mouse or if you touch your keyboard, everything wakes up again and you're straight away working. Here, if you start changing, or if you're clicking your keyboard or moving your mouse, it wants your keyboard. Oh, sorry, your password, right? Sway lock. This is a lock, this, this is a lock system and that's not a lock system, a script that is running and this is the Sway lock app. So test it out. This is the Easter egg of the guys of Hyperland and see if it works for you. And that's the point of this video, right? New code, new app, new config, phase three. Check it all out. See if it works.